Yeah. Hi guys, I'm coming at you with my May book haul. Yeah, 18 books this month. It's a lot of books, but it was a really good deal. I'm spending like 60 bucks on all 18 books total. So, yeah, it's a really good deal. I'm standing up because that one I left all those books up. Um, I'm not really going to give any synopsises just because it's probably going to be a long video. But first is The Iron Child by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black. Now this book has been like everywhere so I'm not really going to give any synopsises of it. But it is the first book in the Magisterium series and it is about magic and it is amazing. So yeah, there's a that one. The next one is the prettiest book that I have ever seen. It is The Wizard of Oz by Al Frank Baum. And it is in the um, Threadbound Classics Edition. I forgot to take the price sticker off. But, yeah, this is so gorgeous. I obviously had to buy it because Wizard of Oz is, like, my favorite movie of all time. So, of course, I had to buy this and this gorgeous, gorgeous edition. So, yeah, and it was, like, $10. So, yeah. Next, I got The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa. And this is a vampire story. I'm not exactly sure what it's about, but it, yeah, it's about this girl that turns into a monster, or vampire, which they consider monsters, and yeah, it's like a creature that she hates, I guess. I'm not too sure. Um, but I love the back synopsis thing. That's what really intrigued me. It says, what if having a chance to save humanity meant becoming what you hate and fear most? So, yeah, I look forward to reading this. And this cover is, again, stunning. The next one is Light by Michael Grant, the sixth and final book in the Gone series. I'm not going to give a synopsis about this one. I haven't even read any of the synopsis on this book. But I've only read Gone. But, yeah, um, I want to try to get all the books in this edition with the people on the cover so that they match. Because what bothers me most is that when they change covers and you can't find these other covers it just really annoys me but yes got this and hopefully I can finish the series by the end of the month it's a or end of the year rather um but yeah it's a dystopian series about these kids kind of being left al being left alone and fin having to fend for themselves and all sorts of things they have superpowers and yeah it's just really good Probably going to be like the worst book haul ever, but oh well. This next one is Astray by Emma Donahue. And basically this is a kind of like a mix of stories. And it's about people that go astray in their lives. They are immigrants, runaways, and drifters. They cross other borders too. Those of race, law, sex, insanity. They travel for love or money, incognito, or under duress. So it's just kind of like that, I guess. So this sounds really deep, and probably it'll be, it might be kind of hard to get through because of all the stuff that is going on in it, but it's very short. So hopefully I can get to it at some point this year when I'm in the mood for a really deep read. But And this cover is stunning too. This is like the month of stunning covers. Everything is going to fall over, so I'm going to have to move my books down. Okay, the next one is probably the shiniest book ever, and it is Proxy by Alex London. You can see reflection in this book. It's like, you can just like use this as a mirror, check your hair. Um, I've seen this one around Booktube, and I think it is a sci-fi. Um... Not too sure what it's about, but looks pretty, and I love sci-fi. I want to get into more of the sci-fi books. So, yeah, and I've heard some good things about this. So, yeah, I'm going to get to it at some point this year, hopefully. Next is one of the historical fictions that I bought, and it is Guilt by Catherine Longshore. And it is, I'll just read this back because it's very simple and... It's really kind of captivating, the back of it is. Passion, lies, betrayal. In the court of King Henry VIII, nothing is free, and love comes at the highest price of all. 
So it takes place in the court of Henry the Eighth. I think VIII V I I I is eight. Yeah. I'm terrible at Roman numerals, but yeah, um This girl kind of gets thrust into that lavish world of the court at in a court for King Henry the Eighth. And I love historical fiction that deals with kings and queens and royalty, so hopefully I will get that to that again this month or this year rather and the next book is the lost memoirs of jane austen by Cyrie james and i just pretty much picked this up because of the cover let's be honest because it's gorgeous but yeah basically it's like a fic it's a fictionalized version of the lost memoirs of jane austen's life so next is this top part i'll read that to you since it's very quick Many rumors abound about a mysterious gentleman said to be the love of Jane's life. Finally, the truth may have been found. So, yeah, that just sounds really intriguing. And hopefully I'll read this at some point this year. It's pretty short. I could probably finish it in a week. I'm a very slow reader. Um, the next one I got is The Best of Me by Nicholas Sparks. And, yeah, this is a movie... That I really want to see. Um, there's pictures in here of it. So you got like that. I'm just like, this is a romance. This is a adult romance book. Um, not exactly too sure what goes on in it, but yeah, I think it take. I think this is the one that takes place from two different perspectives. I don't know, there's lots of Nicholas Sparks, but yeah, I think this is the one that takes place with like a younger couple and then them being older. So, yep, it is. <laughs> but yeah, this looks, it looks pretty interesting. Hopefully I'll get to it at some point. I have like a bunch of, no, bunch of Nicholas Sparks that I have not read yet and I cannot talk today. Um, the next one is If I Stay by Gail Foreman. And this is about a girl that gets in a car crash and she's kind of caught in between a life and death situation and she has to decide if she wants to just move on and or if she wants to stay. And yeah, I don't know. The movie looks really good. And ooh, that's pretty. The movie looks good, so I decided why not buy the book. So yeah, um, I'll give it a shot this year, at some point, hopefully. This next one is Russian Roulette by Anthony Horowitz. I actually already own this. It's uh, over there. And, um, but this is the special edition, so of course I had to buy it. It is just absolutely stunning. And you open this up, and it's like, it is so pretty. I love it. So I'm going to have to reread it. In this edition, so I can get like as so I can read the bonus content. But yes, this is about one of the characters that you meet in the beginning of the series. Uh, yes, Sen Grigorovich, who is a Russian assassin. So you kind of get to see how he grew up and how he became an assassin, and you really get to feel for him. <clears throat> My voice is terrible because of allergies. I'm so sorry. But um, yeah, um, this is really good, and this cover is really pretty. And I highly recommend this if you like spy stuff. And then the next one I have is Red Handed by Gina Showalter. And I'm not too sure what this is about, but I saw that it was by Gina Showalter, so I just bought it. I read another one of her books which is over there, I read Intertwined earlier this year, and I really enjoyed it, so I wanted something else by her. And it's a kind of alien huntress series is what it says on the back and so yeah I guess the girl this girl hunts aliens so I don't know but it looks really good and I like Gina Schulter's writing so that's why I bought it the next one is Valiant by Holly Black I thought that this was one that I needed in the trilogy but it turns out I already have Valiant and it was Ironside that I needed but this is either book two or book three in the um, Modern Fairy Tale trilogy. 
I'm not sure, because some people say that this is the second book, and some people say that Ironside's the second book, so I don't know. Um, if you know for sure, tell, please let me know, so I can finally continue on with this trilogy, because I really want to, I really enjoy it. But, yeah, um, I don't really need to go into this, because this is, like, everywhere, and that's the second book. And then the next one, <clears throat> we have a few more left, so bear with me a couple more minutes. The next one is Fledgling Jason Steed by <clears throat> Mark A. Cooper. My voice is cutting real out really bad. Um, this is about a boy named Jason Steed, and he is a martial arts expert, skill pilot, and a member of the elite British military group called the Sea Cadets. And then a training exercise goes terribly wrong, and so he finds himself in the middle of a deadly secret mission. So yeah, it's about a young spy, which um, the Alex Rider series, which is one of my favorite series of all time, is about a young spy. So yeah, I look forward to reading this, and it's really, really short too. So hopefully I can get to this this year. Only like four more left, so yes, um, Next, this next one is Ghost Huntress, Ghost Huntress, The Guidance by um, Marley Gibson. This is actually book two. My mom gave this to me because she had like three copies of it, so I don't really know what it's about. I'm not reading the back because this is book two, but I'm assuming it's about a ghost huntress, so paranormal, and yeah. I like paranormal stuff. And then the next one is The Season by Sarah McLean. And this is about... So I bought these books at the beginning of the month, so I haven't really read the synopsis in a while. But um, this is about a girl named Lady Alexandra. I mean, she doesn't really fit into the world of Regency London. And, but her mother wants her to be married off to someone that's respectable and wealthy and, according to Alex, boring. And But she wants to... Uh, she doesn't want the romance, she wants um, adventure. And... There's this Earl of Blackmore, he gets killed, and so Alex tries to help his son, and possibly falls in love with him and yeah so like another kind of like court intrigue book so yeah um two more left this next one is the a lion among men volume three in the wicked years by gregory mcguire i don't really want to get into this because this is book three but yeah, look how stunning that is but yeah, it's basically, I think, just about the Wicked Witch of the West. So, yeah. It's kind of like a prequel to Oz. I think so. Yeah, something like, yeah. But this is like a ginormous book. Like, look at how big that is. It's bigger than my face. Um, but yeah, this um, I hope to get to that trilogy at some point. I have a lot of books to read. Um, yeah, the final book is The Lux by Anna Godberson, and this is the first book in the Lux series. And I'm not too sure what this is about. Um, it takes place in, Man in Manhattan in 1899. About, I'll just read the back. Uh, Elizabeth and Diana Holland rule, Manha rule Manhattan's social scene. When the girls discover their family's status is far from secure, suddenly everyone is a threat to their golden future. Set in a world of luxury and deception, this thrilling trip to the age of innocence is anything but innocent. So it sounds really good, and I've heard good things about this, and these covers are absolutely gorgeous. This might be my favorite cover. But, yeah, um... That is my massive, massive book haul. Um, yeah. So, I will try to leave Goodreads links to all these books down below if you want to get kind of more in-depth with the books, since I didn't really give synopsises. Um, 
But yeah, if I remember, I will leave Goodreads links down below. So let me know what books you bought this month, and if you've read any of these books that I've bought this month, let me know what you thought of them down below. And till next video, bye!